When you start Fiery Command Workstation, or CWS, Fiery servers that are disconnected are greyed out in the server list. To connect to a Fiery server, select the server and click Connect. The login window appears. Click Login to connect to the Fiery server. The default administrator password is Fiery.1. Fiery has a capital F. The status of the server is indicated by a capsule. A red capsule is a server that has an error. Green indicates the server is ready to process print jobs. A green capsule with stripes indicates the server is busy processing or printing jobs. If you want to log in as a different user, you can select Switch User from the server menu. Connecting as the operator allows you to import files to the Fiery server, assign job properties, manage Fiery print paper catalog and use optional utilities such as Fiery Job Master. You can also view Device Center. The operator can require a password but by default one is not set. Guest allows you to monitor the status of the Fiery server without making changes. You can also import files into the Fiery server. Connecting as the administrator allows you all the function of the operator. In addition, the administrator can make changes to the Fiery server settings through the device center. Consumables information is displayed in the list below the connected servers. You can see the levels of paper in the trays and the toner levels. The center pane displays the current status of each Fiery server you are monitoring and managing. The Command Workstation toolbar contains common actions applied to jobs using CWS. If the installation has Fiery Job Master, Impose or Compose activated, the toolbar will contain the new job button. The toolbar can be customised by right-clicking and selecting Customise. You can add, remove and organise the window. To locate jobs, you can enter part of the job name in the search box. Double-clicking the job will open the job's properties or selecting Locate Item will take you to the Fiery server and list where the job is located. Device Center contains setup information, colour management tools and resources such as paper catalogue. When a user sends a print job directly to the print queue, the job displays in the printing queue. The printing queue displays jobs processed, currently printing or waiting to print. The printed list shows recently printed jobs. You can select to reprint a job by right-clicking and selecting the option from the menu. Rush Print allows you to interrupt a job currently printing and print this job. Note, jobs may be suspended if the media is not currently loaded. Force Print allows you to print a suspended job using a media stock that is currently loaded in the printer. The administrator can also create other print queues which can be set to send jobs to the hold queue. The held list contains jobs that users have submitted to the hold queue. Jobs with a light yellow do not have raster or bitmap data saved. Jobs with a yellow and a sheet icon with a blue arrow contain raster or bitmap data that can be viewed using Fiery Preview or Fiery Image Viewer. You can change the job properties on jobs in the held list. Right click and the menu allows you to select options. The processing queue displays jobs waiting to process. Jobs in the processing queue are converted from the page description language such as PostScript or PDF to a bitmap image that is sent to the printer. Jobs that are processed are either sent to the printing queue to print or a bitmap version is created for preview using utilities such as Fiery Preview or Fiery Image Viewer and then sent to the held queue. The archived list shows jobs saved from held or printed list for future reprinting. All necessary components are stored with the job including job properties. You can drag a job to the archive tab. You can archive the file to the Fiery server or an optional drive attached to the system.